Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to be introducing and kicking off this video. We, for the next week, are going to be randomizing how many hours I'm reading for every single day and seeing if I can do it. So this week is the last kind of full week I have, well, six days before I start my new job next week. And so I really wanna make the most of reading and I wanted to do a fun little challenge alongside that. So like quite a few other people have done, I'll link some of the videos down in the description. I have got myself a spinner wheel with different numbers on it, which is going to decide how many hours I have to read for every single day. I've not gone super high on the numbers. There is every possibility on days I get a low number, I will go further than this, but I wanted to make it doable because I do also have quite a lot of things on this week. Today I have zero plans, but I have videos that need editing and uploading before I get started at work. I have friends I'm meeting up with, I'm going to a show, like I have quite a lot going on. So I didn't want to make this stressful or impossible. The goal is just to have a really, really lovely, great reading week before we get a lot busier. So it's very simple. I have between one hour and six hour on this wheel. I'm going to remove them as I go. So we should get one of these numbers each day for the next six days. And we're gonna just see how much I can get through. In terms of what I will be reading, my current read is The 13 and a Half Lives of Captain Blue Bear which is like a YA adventure story. It's absolutely huge, but it's a really quick read because there's a lot of illustrations and a lot of like full double spread illustrations. This is a book I read when I was like 14 and for some reason about a year ago, my brain was like, oh, I wanna read that again. So I've got it and I'm going to, and I decided to pick this up last week. So we're gonna continue. I'm about 200 pages in at the moment and it's almost exactly 700 pages long, but it is a quick read. So this is the first task, get this done. The other thing I have kind of on the go is last night I read Last Gender Volume 2. So I want to read Volume 3 and finish out that series because that would be super satisfying to get done. So I have that to read and I might start with that today, depending on how things go. Other than that, I have my five star predictions video. I could read a couple books from that. I may do a poll on Instagram if to choose my reads. I might mood read. I have no idea yet other than these, which I'm hoping to knock out in the next day or two, but I really, really want to get through as much as I can and some really interesting reads. So with that, let's not waste any more time and let's spin. Really hoping I get something high today because I've got the whole day free and all I want to do is read. Oh my god. Perfect. Six. That is a lot though. Six straight hours of reading. I am going to be, I'll do it right now, setting a timer on my phone and will be being really strict with it. So if I stop for food, if I stop for a break, anything, the timer will go on and off. I sometimes forget but I'm going to do my best. So we have a six hour timer ready to go. Let's start today off. We're an hour and a half in, but honestly, we're starting really strong. The problem is it's been three and a half hours-ish since I filmed the intro and found out I was reading six hours today. So although we're reading a lot, I'm getting through the time very slowly. I was so confident with no plans today that six hours would be so easy, but I'm getting nervous. And also it already feels like I've been reading for ages, which is a bit wild for an hour and a half. I've still got four and a half hours left, but I think it's because I've read quite a lot. So I did read Last Gender Volume 3, which completes this series, little manga series. I didn't enjoy this as much as the other volumes. The first one was basically these four or five little vignette stories about different queer people and was really interesting. The second one was similar but introduced an aspect of plot and there was like something running throughout the vignettes and then this one was just a plot and went on a very odd journey. I liked it, I'm glad to have read it. Wasn't what I was expecting or what I necessarily wanted out of this series, but that's fine. Got a manga out of the way, a couple hundred pages, and then moved on to trying to make some progress in the 13 and a half lives of Captain Blue Bear, which is going well. I've read a hundred pages of this. It's a very quick read, as I mentioned. Um, part of me is really hoping I can finish this today. I've got just over 400 pages left. It would be great if I could finish this today, but we're just gonna have to see how it goes. I may not want to read this all day for the six hours. I might have to pick something else up and mix it up. 
But very roughly, this follows Blue Bear, this character here who appears at the beginning of the book. He doesn't know where he's come from. And it is split up into the 13 and a half different sections of like his different lives. And it's not like lives as in reincarnation, but the periods of his life, like periods of things that he's experienced. So his life with the mini pirates, for example, all sorts. It is just a slightly bizarre, slightly ridiculous adventure story, really, with also some little philosophical bits of when he first comes to be trying to learn what it is to live a life and be a creature and all of this. I'm enjoying it. It's such a nostalgic read and it's honestly just a lot of fun. So we're going to go continue this Mon Sprints with Christy, as I pretty much always am, to try and keep me accountable. But four and a half hours to go somehow, which is actually a lot scarier than I anticipated it being. We are very nearly four hours in and oh my god, I'm flagging. I am flagging. It is the first day. Honestly, I shouldn't be surprised. Part of the reason I wanted a high number today was because I was doing nothing all day, but that was very intentional because I've had a completely manic weekend because it was Pride weekend. So I've been out and about every day for the past four days, super, super busy. And so I did expect to crash today, but I woke up feeling really refreshed. So I was really hopeful, but it is about 6 p.m. and the crash is hitting so hard. The fact that I've had, what, eight hours and only managed to read for four so far today is not promising. I have reached almost page 500, page 498, I think, of uh, the 13 and a half lives of Captain Blue Bear. So there is a lot less left than there was. I've done really well, but I think I'm considering myself burnt out on this book for today. It is very stream of consciousness told in kind of a young way i mean it is a way but but something about it just like after reading 300 pages of it today that's that's enough for one day i was hopeful to finish this but i think i'm going to put it down but i'm really happy with the progress i made and i'm optimistic i can finish it tomorrow or the day after but that leaves me with what the hell am i going to read for the next two hours i went to my bookshelves and christy helped me pick some options she really wants me to read servants in the wings at night and i'm not gonna lie she doesn't know this i think i am gonna read this this week just for her though we'll see it's pretty chunky and i'm only gonna get through so many books this week because today is my longest reading day assuming i don't go well above and beyond so we're gonna try and fit it in but we're gonna see. I have really struggled with fantasy romance in the past so I'm really nervous that I'm not gonna like it is my concern but she's convinced I'm gonna love it and honestly she's often right. Other options I picked up were XOXO which is a reread which could be a really good option because I want to read ASAP but I want to reread this first and it's quick and easy. Similar but not a reread, Gwen and Arthur not in love. I'm really really excited for this one. You get more of the cover on the back. This is an ARC copy. This I'm really buzzing for. I think I could absolutely love this. It's like a queer Arthurian retelling. I think I'll really enjoy it, but who knows what I'm in the mood for, honestly. I also have Hopeless as an option because it's the final book in a series and it'd be really good to get that series finished out. But I don't really want to start something today that's going to carry over the next few days and therefore I'm going to have to choose between reading that and Blue Bear. I was going to say Blue Bird, Blue Bear. So I think I'm going to pick something I can finish, hopefully, today. And so I'm going to go with When Among Crows by Veronica Roth. This is a novella, but it's 160 pages, which honestly for two hours is pretty ambitious anyway. So I think I'm going to give this a go. All I know about this is it's like an urban fantasy set in Chicago and it's meant to be really, really good. I'm really excited for it. I love a novella. I think this is going to be the perfect choice, something very different for this evening. And then we'll try again with Blue Bear tomorrow. Super speedy update. I have read like 25 pages of this. <laughs> Ignore the chain. I took it off my jeans earlier and I didn't have a bookmark to hand. But I've read 25 pages. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I'm feeling rejuvenated. My little walk helped. I have a can of monster. This, I think it was on my five star prediction list and I'm only a tiny bit of the way in, but I have a sneaking suspicion I might be right. And I'm so excited to find out. It's a good few hours later. I stopped for dinner. Stopping for dinner turned into stopping and scrolling for hours but can we just talk about the joy when a book you're really enjoying and you thought was not gay turns out to be gay i'm so ready i have i don't even know how long left <laughs> an hour exactly it turns out it's just gone past and i need to get this done i've got 90 pages left which should be absolutely fine to do in an hour but let's get it done it is so much later than is ideal, but I have about 40 minutes left on the timer. I have about 60 pages left on the book. 
Let's get this done. I'll update you in the morning. It is the next morning. With about two minutes to spare last night, I finished When Among Crows. I didn't read for those two minutes. You know what, at that point, I felt like we'd done enough. <laughs> but I did finish When Among Crows. This, I feel like I can only give a blurb of now that I finished it, follows Dimitar, who is seeking out Baba Yaga, who is like the most powerful witch in this world, to ask for a favor, basically. And you're following him on like a, in effect, a teeny tiny little quest because it's a teeny tiny little book and he's going through different trials and trying to work out how to get where he needs to get and make some friends along the way make some alliances along the way lots of family stuff history all sorts genuinely loved this i thought it was so atmospheric i thought it was so interestingly written I'm going with a five star for now i'm gonna run it through core pile to double check myself and also just sit with it for a bit but at the very least, it's a 4.5. I really enjoyed this. But that does mean in total yesterday, I read 192 pages of The Last Gender, 280 pages of Blue Bear, and then 165 pages of this, which works out as 637 pages in six hours, which I'm so chuffed with. And that is only day one of six days. So I'm gonna spin right now to see what my reading goal is for today. We're hoping for something on the lower end, but I think anything for downwards we could probably work. So realistically, we are just hoping for not the top one on the list. Let's see what we get. One, okay. I mean, to be fair, today is my busiest day of the week. So we're gonna go with that, one hour. Wouldn't be surprised if I overachieve, but that's nice and easy and means I can maybe actually film some YouTube videos later and do some useful things. We'll see. In terms of reading, I think if only doing an hour, I am going to commit to Captain Blue Bear and see if I can get this done. I think if I was doing three or four hours or even more, my hope was to pick up something else instead or as well, because I'm not sure I have the energy to sit down with this for absolutely ages today. But if I'm doing an hour, Let's try and get this done. I've got 200 pages left, which I think will take me just over two hours. So I am probably going to try and overachieve depending on what the day throws at me, but let's get started. Nice, easy day. I'm, it's making me nervous that we've done the two extremes in the two first days. Okay, we're an hour and a half into our reading today. I've done a count up because I knew I'd go past the one hour mark. So countdown's just gonna be annoying. I have just over 100 pages left of Blue Bear, which is really exciting. We'll definitely get that done. It's picked up again a bit. I found yesterday there was a few sections that really, really dragged. There's a lot of like explanation and what's the word I'm looking for? Where it just shows you loads of stuff. I wanna say exposure, it's not exposure. You know what I mean. And it got a little bit dull. And so I'm glad it's picked up again, but I'm about to head out to sit on the common and meet a friend and sit and read. The weather is not looking promising, but we're gonna give it a go. And we'll hide in a cafe if we need to. So no idea how much reading will actually get done, but hopefully, We'll get Blue Bear finished relatively soon. And then when I come back, I'll probably film a video, I think is the plan. So I'll see you in a bit. It is so much later in the day. It is in fact, actually now the next day. <laughs> Things didn't go quite how I expected. I went out to meet my friend and we sat out for like four hours chatting, which was fantastic, but much longer than planned. So I came home, had some quick food, read a tiny bit more and then jumped on Discord to play Baldur's Gate for the first time ever with a friend. We're starting a new co-op playthrough before, they've played some of it before, but I've never, I'm not a gamer. But I had so much fun designing my character, hopefully I'll insert a clip of the character I went with. I'm very excited to start playing Baldur's Gate, though where I'm gonna find the hours to play, I don't know, and that's why my hair looks a mess, it's been in headphones for many, many hours. But that went a lot longer than planned, so I had had ambitions of finishing this today, but I still have 90 pages left. I've read for just under two hours today, about an hour and 45, I think. I did forget to stop my timer whilst I ate dinner, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was about an hour 45. So I've done my hour, I did it, it's fine. I would have loved to finish this today, but I already had a late night last night trying to get my six hours in. So I think I'm gonna go to bed, read a tiny bit more of this before I go to sleep. Like I think there's actually a chapter break in like 20 pages. So that's kind of perfect. And then I will read the final like 70 odd pages tomorrow, first thing, once we've done the spin. I don't know whether I'll check in with you first thing or not. I'm hoping to go for a run pretty early tomorrow. I also need to edit a video ideally tomorrow. 
So we're gonna have to see how a few things go, but wish me luck. It's Wednesday, it's day three, but let's update you on day two first. So by the end of yesterday, I had read for about two hours, if not just a little bit under, and got to page 627 of this. So I literally have like 70 pages left. So that's the first order of business, irrelevant of how many hours I get today, get this finished is the goal, and then decide what I'm going to read next. So we're gonna get straight on with it because I need to go and edit a video and get a couple things done before I really sit down and read today. So I need to know how many hours I then need to fit in after that. I have no real preference. I'm just gonna fully see whatever we get today. So let's go. I have no idea where this is gonna land. Oh, okay. Two hours, we're going small. That will be so easy to fit in. And yeah, that should be totally chill. Oh, I might be able to do some journaling. I've really wanted to do some journaling. I need to set up my July pages in my reading journal. So that might work out really nicely. And has left us with some good strong numbers for the next three days, which is exciting. We finished Captain Blue Bear. We're done, 700 pages. Done, obviously I started on about 200 um, the beginning of this week, but absolutely thrilled to be done with this. Really enjoyed it. Such a like nostalgic reread, but finishing this took me about 50 minutes. So still have an hour and bit of reading to do. I have done a little bit of that because I've picked up Serpent and the Wing, the Serpent, the Serpent and the Wings of Night. Dearie me. This is a book so many people love. I have read quite a few romantic like I want to say maybe five or six, and I've not really enjoyed any of them. So I'm a little bit convinced I don't like the genre, but Christy is just dead set on me reading this. So we're doing it for her. And I read just, just 35 pages this earlier. I've got about 40 minutes of reading still to do, which is gonna be super easy. It's like almost nine right now because I stopped to do some journaling, make some dinner, started but didn't finish making some friendship bracelets because I've got the Taylor Swift concerts coming up in about a month now, a bit less. And I really need to get on with making bracelets. But now I'm probably gonna settle down for a couple hours and well, get my last 40 minutes of reading done, but maybe try and get to like page 100 of this today and then we can see what tomorrow brings. This is a deceptively large book. In my head, this is 350 pages. It's actually 500. So I would love to get through this and another book before the end of the week, but I have no idea how that's gonna go. In terms of a synopsis for this, I don't know a huge amount. All I know is that everyone says it's like the Hunger Games trials with vampires. That's about my knowledge. I'm gonna guess there's romance in here as well. Everyone says it's gripping and really thrilling and really fun. We'll see if I agree. Good morning. I completely forgot to update the vlog last night, but it is Thursday morning. Um, quick update from yesterday. I got to page 107 of the Winds of Night. I think I probably read for about two and a half hours yesterday. So not tons over my goal of two hours, but easily surpassed it because I read 90 pages, 70 pages of Blue Bear and then 100 pages of this. So pretty happy with that progress. Thoughts on this so far? I think I said yesterday that I was like, not sure if I was gonna like it because I don't always get on with romanticy. I'm really enjoying it so far. So I will openly say I've only read a handful of romanticy. I've read like Akatar, Fortuna Sworn, Rhapsodic, and Blood and Ash, is that what it's called? And a couple others I can't remember off the top of my head. I mean, I've read Fourth Wing, but I quite liked that. But those other four I didn't really enjoy. I didn't dislike them, but they've not stuck with me. I've not wanted to continue the series for any of them. So they've not, they've not really been successes. But I think what I'm really feeling about this is it feels like a really fleshed out fantasy world and I am a sucker for a romance plot. I'm buzzing for the romance plot in this because the dynamic is going to be really fun I think but I think what's making me much more optimistic about this than others I've read is that even if there were no romance plot coming I would be intrigued to continue this. I want to know what's going on with the plot, I want to know what's going on with our main characters, I want to know what's going on with the world and that for me feels like it may have been missing in some of those other ones I've read and I think that might also be why I liked Fourth Wing versus others because it felt very much like the world and the story itself was something I cared about independent of the romance. So 100 pages in, definitely enjoying this. 
I don't have a huge amount on today. I'm going to a show this evening. I obviously need to get out and vote because it's a general election in the UK today, but my polling station is like less than a minute away from me. So that is not a big task. So other than that, all there is to do is spin the wheel. We've only got three, four or five hours left. So it's going to be a chunky-ish day, but it's just a question of how chunky, but that's actually also worked out okay. The wheel has not let me down because I've got a plan today. I've got a tiny plan on Saturday and otherwise I'm free for the next three days. So this works out beautifully. Let's see how much I'm trying, excuse you. <laughs> Let's see how much I'm trying to read today. How many hours is it going to be? Four, beautiful. We love it. Um, four hours it is. I highly, highly doubt I can finish this in four hours because I've got about 380 pages left and it's not a super quick read, but it is engrossing and I am up early today. I'm trying before I start my job next week to get my sleep schedule back to much, much earlier. So I'm up, it's 8 a.m. The light is gorgeous. I'm loving it. And yeah, I'm gonna sit and start reading and we'll definitely do four hours and see if I can do some more. We'll see how it goes. Actually almost done with my reading for today and I'm pretty chuffed. I have 35 minutes still to go so barely anything and I've made some storming progress on this. I am now on page 365 so I've read 265 pages so far. I hopefully in 30 minutes will get to page 400 should be just about possible which is very good going very happy with that. I am happy to report I'm kind of loving this. I never in a million years honestly thought I would like properly enjoy a romanticy because I've just had some such bad experiences with them and just not enjoyed them. I was just unconvinced it was ever going to be my thing, but this has me hooked. This is also the perfect thing to be reading when I'm doing a reading challenge like this because I don't want to put it down at all. Like I'm really enjoying it. I'm kind of hoping to finish it today because I've got just over 100 pages left. I am out this evening, as I mentioned, but I've got a little bit more time before I go. And then I can like read on the tube to and from what I'm out at. And if we're being honest, I'm probably gonna stay up pretty late this evening watching election stuff, but I won't have to like have it on the whole time. So I might watch some during that. I've been out, I voted. I went to Tesco and got myself a fun snack to reward myself, <laughs> got myself a can of Monster. So we're, we're set, we're having a great time. But plan is read some more of this, hopefully get it finished today, go out to the theater and then come back and sit and watch election results and possibly do some tapes of friendship bracelet making whilst I sit and watch because I'm gonna need something to do. But we'll see how we get on. I am home from the theatre. The show was really good. I'm very glad I saw it before it closed. And yeah, it was just a good time. Glad to have seen it after many years of not getting around to it. I read a bit more of this whilst I was out on the tube and such. And I'm now like 30 pages in the end. It's super close. And I'm a little bit obsessed. I might have just bought the sequel, which is not good because I'm not meant to be buying books but also it could arrive tomorrow and then I can just like read it tomorrow <laughs> and this might just become a serpent in the wings of night vlog because sometimes you just want to enjoy it so that's on its way to me which is great fun and it's almost 11 I think like quarter to 11 right now um I've got the BBC election news on and I'm basically gonna leave that on in the background and finish this book and just unmute it every so often to see what's going on. I have no idea how late I'm gonna stay up. I might stay up all night watching it. I might just go to bed soon because like, for anyone that knows anything about the UK general election, we've had the exit polls. We have a relatively clear indication of probably what's gonna happen now. I'm not gonna talk politics, but I might not watch. I don't know, I'm undecided, but I'm gonna finish my book. I've also read for over two hours. I don't think I've said that. Not two hours, four hours. Can you tell it's late? I'm gonna go finish this and rot my brain some more and then we'll see, see what I do. Good morning. I made unadvisable choices and was up 
until 4.30am or a little bit later watching the election. I am tired. It is like 10.30, 11. I had a big lie in to attempt to make the most of today. But yeah, feel a bit thrown off kilter by that. That was unadvisable. I also, having sat down at like 10 o'clock to start watching it, did not pick this up. Not once, not one single time. I tried and every time I went to meet the TV, something happened. It's just constant. There is always something happening. So I couldn't turn it off. <laughs> I got a little bit engrossed, but that's fine. It was good fun. So shock horror, the first goal for the day is to finish this. I do then have the novella and I have the second book on the way, but I don't know when that's going to come. It may not come until really quite late. So we're gonna have to see if that works out as my next read, um, depending on if I get a dispatch notice and like know when it's possibly gonna arrive. I could like squeeze in some manga or something and just see how we go. I could also really do with some filming today. Ideally, I need to film a video and wrap up another vlog. So we'll see when I end up reading. But the first order of business, me yapping away about what I'm gonna read and how I'm gonna read, we should probably work out how long I'm reading for. So we've only got three and five left. We are right down to the end. And I really don't know which one I'm hoping for. Part of me is hoping for three because fitting five in when I also have other stuff to do is gonna be pretty tricky. But part of me is also hoping for five because I also have plans tomorrow morning. So I'm probably gonna end up in a very similar position though I won't have filming to do. However, if I don't get the filming done today, then I might end up with filming to do tomorrow. So a little bit up in the air, not fully sure which one I'm hoping for. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna spin. And the, the fates will decide. What am I attempting to do today? Okay, three. I think that's the better way around. Let's, let's go with that. So that does mean I'll be reading for five hours tomorrow. I haven't actually looked at how long the novella is. I don't know if it's one that's only like a hundred pages or if it's one that's actually a bit chunkier. Okay, it says 200 pages. That's honestly with 40 pages of that and 200 pages of that, that's going to fill most of three hours anyway. So I'm not mad at that. And then I can try and crack through a good chunk of the sequel either later when it comes tonight a little bit and then tomorrow and see where we get to. Okay, I'm happy with that. First order of business is breakfast, actually. So hungry. But then the second order of business is to read the last 40 pages of this because it's absolutely criminal that I didn't read this in the like six hours I was up last night, but that's fine. We're gonna do it today. finished this all of 30 seconds ago. Look what just arrived. Perfect timing. I'm propping you up whilst I open this. We have the sequel in a very much not matching edition because this is the only one I could get my hands on. It is pretty though, so I actually can't complain. That's nice. But yes, I finished Serpent in the Wings of Night. I'm now going to read the novella on my Kindle or my iPad, which will take probably most the rest of my reading time today and then we'll get on with Ashes and Starcast King at some point when I have time. So with about 35 minutes still on the clock, which you can see much better if I actually click onto it, 35 minutes, 36 minutes, I have finished Six Scorch Roses. Super fun. I, so I don't know if I've even said this, I know nothing about this series other than Christy wanted me to read it. So that's, I'm just doing what Christy tells me flat out. So I read obviously Serpent in the Wings of Night and then she told me that the novella does not follow any characters you've met so far, but follows characters that you will meet in the second book. So she really recommended it. And it was a super fun little novella, actually kind of perfect for today because I'm so tired and I'm slightly dreading picking up Ashes and the Starcursed King. I doubted myself on the title there, but I was correct. This is just so chunky. It's like 560 pages, 590 pages. This is like the third biggest book I'm gonna read this year. And will I read it in five hours and 35 minutes? Mm, very unlikely, but we'll see how we get on with it today and tomorrow. 
but I'm excited to give it a go. But I'm glad I read the novella. That was perfect for today. Also, this is such a random thing, but it's bringing me so much joy. So I always try and match my bookmark to the book I'm reading. And the bookmark I was using for Sam to the Wings of Night is I Can't Read Without Sprints, which is one from Cassidy that I think was for Realmathon. I can't remember what readathon she released these for, but it's super, super cute. And obviously it's like this soft purple. Do you want to know what's really satisfying though? They're double-sided and it's blue on the other side. So it matches again. So I'm going to keep using it, meaning I can use the same bookmark for the whole series, which is just so satisfying. But right now I need to go edit a video that needs to go up tomorrow. So I need to go get that done. And then I'm probably just going to sit down for a chunk of the evening and read. Obviously I don't need to do a ton more today. I imagine I'll do more than 40 minutes, but I'm also pretty tired. So we might end up sitting and making friendship bracelets. Oh my God, I forgot to update you. It's apt that I'm in the Taylor Swift jumper, as always. I'm gonna live in this, it's new, it's what I do. But I did make five bracelets whilst watching the election last night. I feel like a kid at show and tell and I love it. Um, I made three, <laughs> I'm gonna need to explain this if there are people that aren't Taylor Swift stands in the audience. I made three Your Gay bracelets and they're just like rainbow. So that's the one I'm gonna keep and I have two for trading. I'm trying really hard to make bracelets I'll be happy to trade because I get really emotionally attached to them when I make them and the whole point is trading them. But to explain this reference, I'm gonna put a timestamp on the screen if you have no interest in Taylor Swift stuff to skip this bit, but I'll just quickly do some Taylor Swift lore. In one of her very old songs, Picture to Burn, um, when it first came out, there was a lyric in it that was, you can go and tell your friends I'm obsessive and crazy, that's fine, I'll tell mine that you're gay. And that very quickly got changed. And unless you have the physical CD from when it was first released, you cannot listen to that version. I mean, it's been uploaded to the internet now by people, but you know, it got changed to that's fine. You won't mind if I say you're just a, and then it like goes into the chorus. And therefore it's become a little bit of a meme, the like you're gay bracelets. And <laughs> me being who I am, it was just apt. And then I made two that are like gold and silver vibes, which are dazzling and can't even pick it up. Shimmer, which are just two different lyrics um, from different parts of her songs. And they're just cute and pretty and sparkly. So, you know, whilst <laughs> big important politics was happening that I was watching a little bit like a reality TV show, I was making bracelets, you know, I'm quite proud of that. Um, I'm gonna go edit and you can tell I'm a little bit delirious, but we've got one day left of this challenge and a little bit today. The weather is horrific for July. We haven't had a blue sky in three days and it's raining, but we're here. We keep moving. It is the final day of this challenge. We don't need to spin. We know how much we're reading. I need to read for five hours today. I don't think I updated you a lot yesterday. I was a little bit all over the place. I did my three hours of reading. I finished six Scorched Roses and then I started The Ashes in the Starcursed King. Forgot the name of the book for a second there, which is so pretty under the dust jacket. I did not expect this and I am now considering getting this edition of the first one so I can have a matching series when they're all out because this is a lot prettier than I anticipated. Didn't read very much of this yesterday. I think I got to page like 55-ish. Yeah, 57 and it's 590 pages. So a hell of a long way to go. I am not going to be able to read 540 pages in five hours. So unless I do a ton of extra reading, I'm not gonna finish this today, but I don't expect I'll be doing extra reading either. I am starting later than intended. I don't know what happened, but I could not for the life of me get to sleep last night. So I went to bed around midnight and didn't get to sleep till almost 4 a.m., which is ridiculous for me. I'm normally someone that falls asleep within three minutes. So that was not fun. And I did have to change my plans for this morning. I was meant to be going out at half past eight to meet up with a friend to go on a run. And we did not do that. Um, luckily my friend also didn't sleep well. So when we checked in at like 8.30, she was also keen to sleep a bit more. So we're gonna meet up late afternoon, four or five-ish, but it's currently like half past 10. I need to make myself breakfast. So I'm not gonna start reading realistically until 11. And 
much as you think from 11 five hours that's four you've got ages I keep finding that I only read for like 30 40 minutes and I have a 10 15 minute break and then I do a thing and I do a thing and all of a sudden it takes me almost twice as long as the number of hours I need to do because so I'm I'm so religious with this timer like if I send a message to someone I have paused the timer for the three seconds it takes me to do that or the two minutes or whatever so I'm very unlikely to finish this today but fingers crossed I should be able to finish it in the next few days and I'll carry on the vlog until I'm done with it hopefully we'll see what happens but this is the goal for the day see how much of this I can read as I said I was a bit all over the place yesterday so I didn't really read much at all past my three hours because honestly all I wanted to do by the evening was sit put my Umbrella Academy rewatch on and make some friendship bracelets and so I did exactly that and it was genuinely the best choice I'm so so glad I did that it was really really nice really relaxing and I'm also really excited that I've got into friendship bracelet making I'm someone that picks up a new craft every couple months and then like really enjoys it for a while and when I got all the friendship bracelet making supplies for the Taylor Swift concerts I like just didn't get into it and I was like oh my god what have I done like I'm not gonna do this and I suddenly got into it which is really fun so the new ones I made for myself were a fearless bracelet and a Taylor's version bracelet which looked like this on the other side just simple little ones so we're getting there with the few I'd had before this week and this week like we're starting to get a decent little stack going. Slow progress but progress. The first concert I have is in about three weeks now so still a long way to go to get enough done but we're doing it. It's good fun I'm having a great time with it but for today we're reading. So I'm gonna go make myself a breakfast. I'm gonna put an ASMR room on, I think. Um, I'm going to tidy up because there is bracelet making stuff everywhere. And then we're gonna just see how much I can read. hours into reading today I've just hit page 200 so I'm definitely reading a bit slower today considering I only read 150 pages in two hours it's still good speed I'm very happy with that but it's definitely slower than I'm reading the last few days also I feel like I need to mention I know I'm wearing the exact same jumper throughout this entire vlog it's, it's me it's brand new I wear it all the time that's how I work I've probably already said that but it's been a super chill cozy week so I just kind of keep putting it on every single day and it's comfy I am now stopping to have a lunch break because I need to eat and I feel like I could do with eating and watching a little bit of TV and just chilling for a minute. Then I'll read a little bit more and then I'm going out on a run with my friend at four. So I'll probably be out from like half three till five-ish, something like that. Uh, we're hoping to do a 5k, we'll see how it goes. We're both very tired and I have lost a lot of my fitness in the last month because I can't train because of the injury I had. Though I should be able to start getting back to it now, which is why we're going out. But I'm really enjoying this. Not as much as the first one, though I have to say, I'm really, really enjoying it. I wasn't sure when it started because we're getting a bit less focus on the romance. The characters have angst between them because of events of book one, etc. That I wasn't convinced I was going to like it, but I'm really, really enjoying the vibes. That's my food. As I said, really enjoying it. Very excited to continue. And I will not be finishing another 390 pages today. But I can make a pretty good dent. I mean, I've already made a pretty good dent. I'm pretty happy with that progress. But for now, food and more reading. Okay, it is well and truly crunch time. Got home from my run, had a shower, sat down and read a bit. Had to get up to make some dinner. I'm now sitting down to read again. Somehow, I don't understand how, I feel like the math isn't mathing, but somehow I still have two hours left, which is mildly terrifying. Um, I need to get the fuck on with this. I am sprinting with Christy, as always, and we keep chatting way too long, which is not helping. Yeah, it's half past eight. Two hours takes me to at least half past ten, when I would quite like to be in bed. So, I'm a bit screwed, but we're not failing on the last day, so let's keep going. In terms of the book, I am up to page 270, so we're making good progress, and I am really, really enjoying it. Wasn't sure I was going to, 
but are having a fantastic time with it. I don't even have time to be updating you because I need to go and read, so see ya. <laughs> it is 9.45. I am loving this book, but I am fading so bad. I have an hour and 20 minutes still to read, which is gonna take me to Australia o'clock because I ended up chatting to Christy and I'm so sleepy because I got so little sleep last night, but I'm not failing on the final day. An hour and 20 minutes. We're making it happen. It might kill me, but we're making it happen. I'm on page 329 right now. I should be able to get past page 400 today. <sighs> Wish me luck. It is 11.15. I'm on page 410 and I am done. It is time for bed for me. I'll wrap this up tomorrow. But today I read 360 pages, I wanna say. The mental maths is not happening, but I think about 360 pages in five hours. Pretty happy with that. Hello. So it is very much not the next day. It is in fact a week later and this vlog needs to go up today. So I'm finally gonna wrap it up. I've had a haircut, things have changed. I've started my job. It's been mad, but I thought I'd wrap up how the six days went, what we read, etc. So I can now report that I have finished The Ashes and Starcursed King. I finished this a few days after <laughs> sort of the end of the challenge. If you can hear any weird noise, apologies, my neighbors are doing building work. And yeah, I finished this. I gave this like a four in the end. I gave the first book a 4.5. I enjoyed this. I really enjoyed the like very fantasy focus. I actually didn't end up minding the different dynamic between the two characters in this and loved where it ended. I think it just maybe dragged a teeny tiny touch. We had quite a few instances where slightly similar things happened, but overall really enjoyable. We'll absolutely be continuing with the series as they continue to be released in like traditional publishing so that I can get all of these matching editions. But to wrap up the week, I did read The Last Gender, volume three. I finished The 13 and a Half Lives of Captain Blue Bear. I read When Among Crows by Veronica Roth. Sorry about the banging. I read The Serpent in the Wings of Nights. I read Six Scorched Roses, the novella, and then I read The Ashes and Starcursed King. Obviously there were little bits of that that were not within the six days, the first 200 pages of Captain Blue Bear and the last, I think about 150 of That and the Starcursed King. But I have added up the actual number of pages I read within the six days, which was 1,932, which is a lot. And if you add up how many hours I read for, within the challenge would have been 21 hours. I think I probably read for two maybe three over the top of that. So let's be conservative and say I read for 24 hours. That works out as 80 pages an hour, which I'm so happy with because that's kind of the pace I'd like to read at. Obviously I had some quicker books, I had some slower books, but I'm really chuffed with that. Completed the challenge all six days by hook or by crook. There were some close calls, but we did it. And honestly, it was just such a lovely way to start the month and spend a week before I get into the world of work again and have no time. So it was a fantastic week. Feel like it was a big win. I read more pages in a week than I've read some months this year. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, some really fantastic books. I actually really enjoyed all of them, some more than others. Just a truly swell week of reading and, you know, great fun, enjoying a like proper romanticy for the first time which is fantastic. Christy is thrilled. I will say this is not, I don't believe, going to be the beginning of my romanticy era. I do not think in general it is a genre for me, but I'm always more than happy for exceptions. And yeah, such a good week. I'm absolutely thrilled. But that's the end of this vlog. If you've made it all the way to the end of the video, please leave a like and comment down below. Have you ever done a challenge like this? What's the most you've read in a day? And if you don't have anything to say, just leave any circular shaped emoji to represent the wheel that has controlled my life for the week. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I do a combination of sit down videos and vlog style challenges and all sorts, depending on what I can fit in. But that's it for this time. So bye and I'll see you in the next one.